All right, y'all, so for the camp stool seat, you're gonna need a uh, couple of different things. The first thing you need is a uh, container of water of some sort that you can use to dip uh, the actual thing into so it's a little more flexible. Uh, inside your kit, you're gonna have a couple of other things. Uh, this right here is the instructions. Uh, this is very important because if you get stuck, this kind of helps you uh, go in the right direction. You're going to have uh, these four little uh, wooden sticks. This is going to be part of the frame. And then you're also going to have four of these. Uh, this is also going to be part of the frame. Uh, the final thing you're going to have is this. It's basically like kind of a ball of yarn. Uh, this is going to actually make up the seat part. Uh, so make sure before you start that you have all of these. All right, so when you're making the frame of the camp stool seat, uh, what you're going to be doing is you're putting these into the holes that are in these wooden, these wooden blocks. Um, so basically, uh, like for this one, for instance, the hole is a little too small. So you have to kind of play with it a little bit, try to widen the hole so you can get it in. But once it's finally in, uh, you basically go around and you put all of the holes in. And you'll see there's one on the top and there's one on the bottom. Uh, make sure that the holes align with the one next to it. So for instance, on this one, the hole is over here on the left side. And on this one, the hole lines up. So you're going to put in uh, like so, and you just go around until the entire thing is filled up like that. All right, so once you have the frame of your camp stool seat set up, what you're going to do is you're going to take the ball of twine and you're going to take the end of it and you're going to tie it off flush with one of the corners. It doesn't matter which one. Then what you're going to do is you take the ball of twine and you're going to wrap it around like this 10 times. And this can be a little tedious, but it's important that you wrap it as tightly together as you can, like I'm doing with this one. It's a little difficult, but make sure you do it 10 times, just like this. All right, so once you have it wrapped around 10 times, it's gonna look something like this. Now the next part is you're going to take it and you're going to wrap it around like this 10 times. And make sure that you still keep it tight like that so it's close together, but you're gonna get around 10 times. All right, so now that you have it wrapped around like that, the next part is you're going to go to the side opposite of where you did this one right here, where it's just tied onto one pole you're going to go to the opposite side, and then you're going to wrap it around 10 times. All right, so now that you've done this, you're gonna see the basic framework for how this camp stool is supposed to look. You're gonna to continue to do this 10 on, 10 around motion until you get to the end of this. So you see how it's tied like this? You'll do 10, and then 10 around, and then 10 down here, 10 around, 10 up here, 10 around, and so on until you get to the end. When you get to the very end and you're flush against one of these blocks, you're gonna tie a knot just like you did at the beginning. All right, so now that you have this side of the camp seat done, you're gonna be coming back this way. Now what you need to do is you need to get a lot of string cut off from the main ball because what you're gonna have to do is once you tie it like you did when you started this one, you're gonna be doing the exact same thing going this way except when you're doing the long, uh, strands like this, you're gonna have to intertwine, you have to weave through like I'm doing here. And you're gonna be doing that 10 times, and then you do the 10 wrapped around just the side like we did. It's exactly the same as the first side, except you're just going through uh, the strands you've already woven.